It happened in the dead of night. A group, unknown, infiltrated CrowdStrike. Their weapons, not guns or explosives, but lines of code. CrowdStrike, the cybersecurity giant, had been hacked. This wasn't just any hack. CrowdStrike, known for its impenetrable defenses, was a fortress in the digital world. Their software protected governments and corporations from the most sophisticated cyber attacks. Yet, they fell. The news sent shockwaves through the cybersecurity community. If CrowdStrike could be compromised, was anyone safe? The very foundation of digital trust seemed to crumble overnight. The attackers, ghosts in the machine, left a trail of chaos in their wake. They exposed vulnerabilities, stole sensitive data and vanished into the digital ether. The world watched in disbelief. Hacking is the art of exploiting vulnerabilities. Hackers, the digital explorers, probe systems for weaknesses, searching for cracks in the armor. They are driven by curiosity, profit, or the thrill of the challenge. CrowdStrike stood as a bulwark against this digital tide. Founded by cybersecurity veterans, they built their reputation on innovation and expertise. Their software, a blend of cutting-edge technology and human intelligence, was considered the gold standard in threat detection and response. Their Falcon platform, a cloud-based solution, provided real-time visibility into network activity, detecting and neutralizing threats before they could cause damage. They were the guardians, the sentinels of the digital age, but even the most formidable fortress has its weaknesses, and the attackers, shrouded in anonymity, found theirs. CrowdStrike security was legendary. They employed multi-factor authentication requiring users to verify their identity through multiple layers of security. This made unauthorized access extremely difficult. Their systems were encrypted, scrambling sensitive data into an unreadable format. Only authorized users with the decryption key could access the information. This ensured that even if hackers breached their defenses, they wouldn't be able to make sense of the stolen data. They had a dedicated team of security researchers and ethical hackers who constantly probed their own systems for vulnerabilities. This red team simulated real-world attacks, identifying and patching weaknesses before malicious actors could exploit them. They were the epitome of cybersecurity, a testament to human ingenuity in the face of ever-evolving digital threats. Section 4. David's Digital Sling Open Source Arsenal The attackers, however, had a secret weapon open source tools. These freely available software programs developed and shared by a global community of programmers were designed for legitimate purposes like system administration and penetration testing, but in the wrong hands these tools could be deadly. The attackers used them to scan CrowdStrike systems for weaknesses, exploiting vulnerabilities in their software and network infrastructure. They used tools like Nmap, a network scanner, to map CrowdStrike's network, identifying potential entry points. They used Metasploit, a penetration testing framework, to exploit vulnerabilities in CrowdStrike software. And they used tools like Wireshark, a network protocol analyzer, to intercept and analyze network traffic, gaining access to sensitive information. These open source tools, readily available and constantly evolving, gave the attackers the power to level the playing field against a cybersecurity giant. Section 5. The Walls Come Crashing Down the key moment came when the attackers exploited a zero-day vulnerability. This previously unknown flaw in CrowdStrike's software gave them unauthorized access to their systems. It was like finding a secret passage into a heavily guarded fortress. Once inside, they moved laterally through the network, gaining access to more sensitive systems and data. They bypassed security measures, escalated privileges, and covered their tracks, leaving minimal traces of their presence. They were ghosts in the machine, moving silently and swiftly, exploiting every weakness, every oversight. CrowdStrike, the defender of nations, had become the victim. The breach was a testament to the attacker's skill and determination. It was a stark reminder that in the world of cybersecurity, no one is invincible. Section 6. Echoes of the Breach The impact of the CrowdStrike hack was immediate and far-reaching. Trust in cybersecurity, already fragile, eroded further. If a company like CrowdStrike could be compromised, what hope did others have? The stock market reacted swiftly with CrowdStrike's share price plummeting. Investors once confident in the company's security prowess were left questioning their investments. The hack served as a wake-up call for the cybersecurity industry. It exposed the limitations of even the most sophisticated security measures and highlighted the need for constant vigilance and innovation. The ghosts in the machine had made their point. The digital world they showed was a battleground and the fight for control was far from over. The CrowdStrike hack was a stark reminder that in this digital arms race, there were no permanent victors, only temporary truces.